Hey everybody and welcome back to Wide Open Water. Today, for this whole weekend, I'm going to be camping on the St. Croix River. I'm going to go after some sturgeon again. I entered a tournament on the Fish Donkey app, so I'm kind of hoping to be able to put at least one or two fish on, on the board. If I get one, I'll be really happy. But to camp on the river for two nights, uh, kind of need a lot of gear. Right back there is my Smitty sled that I have set up. And even behind it, I have a even smaller sled with the auger, some food for the weekend, and some extra propane. So hopefully we hook into a fish. I got a long walk to go and I'm heading north today on the river. So I think after a mile walk, I'll have my spot. So fingers crossed that we get into them. So as you can see, hopefully this isn't too windy right now while I'm talking. But my first tip of the night for fishing in general to get away from the crowds. Normally I fish kind of like the community hole for the sturgeon. I'm gonna try out a new spot tonight. Basically, I am currently walking way up north. There's the community hole back there. Been checking the ice while I've been coming. Had to cross a couple cracks. It was pretty sketchy, but they were plenty safe. Just gonna turn on the map and see if I'm in roughly the right depth that I want to be in. Looks like we're going to be in about the 30 foot line. So I think we're going to give this spot a try. So we got the shack set up from the outside. I got the snow packed around to keep the heat in. It is actually pretty sloppy out here. It's been raining all day. But we got some extra straps down there and now I just got to put down the corner spikes and I'll be inside fishing. I'm all set up in the shack right now. I got my two lines in. I'm thinking it's time for dinner. I actually noticed one little issue I was having earlier. So the seams of my shack, since it was raining so hard, there was some condensation or moisture forming that was dripping onto my cot. So I've kind of moved everything towards the middle, so I'm kind of a little cramped right now. So I'm going to have my cooking station right there. Got my heater right next to me, which is act that's actually pretty nice. And so I'm going to make some tacos tonight. I have some pre-cooked taco, or ground beef, that I'm just going to add the seasoning to it. Kind of just warm it up. Tonight, we went all out. We got the Taco Bell seasoning. And, as I was setting up I realized I got the cheese I have my taco sauce but I forgot the dang tortillas <laughs> so tonight I actually got lucky and I brought a partially eaten bag of Doritos so tonight we're gonna make the world's biggest maybe not the world's biggest but a large walking taco so this thing's about a third full still I'm gonna crush up all those chips, throw all that taco meat, all that cheese in there, and I'm betting that that's gonna be more than enough for me to eat. It'll probably be like three meals for me, but it's gonna be delicious. So the taco meat is now done. A very important part to a, a taco in a bag is crushing out the chips. So we're gonna do that quick. Might get a little noisy. We're good to go. Next, I'm gonna probably just dump all the taco meat in. So we're just gonna go straight from the pan right in here. That's going to be good. Well, I'm going to go for the first bite. It smells delicious. We're going to see if it tastes delicious. That is absolutely amazing.
Feels pretty decent. Just a little guy. Well, we're not skunked. We got one. Well, we got fish number two. Oh, actually number one bite number two of the night the first one was definitely a lot bigger but we got a nice little sturgeon again these guys are so cool they never get old well we got the first fish of the night nice little guy put up a decent fight i think he's ready to roll just gonna angle him down nope he doesn't want to leave There he goes.